Now the next thing we can have a look at in terms of the table of contents is a little bit more information in, in what they're actually being displayed. So first of all we'll have a look at this world, population, world populated places. We can switch it on there. And if I expand the table of contents here by clicking on the little plus sign, I get some information about how this particular layer is being displayed. So what it's telling me is that the cities with lower populations have smaller yellow dots and the more populous cities have the larger yellow dots. Now at this sort of scale it's actually difficult to see where those large and small yellow dots are. So this is where we can start to use some of our navigational tools to zoom in and out of different areas. So as you start up ArcMap, you probably notice that you've got these, these zooming and panning tools that come up in a toolbar. Now you can also just pop that anywhere in your toolbar area to dock that, just to get it out of the way, if you like. Now I'm just going to use one of my zooming tools here, so the little magnifying glass to zoom in and um, we might um, zoom in, in into an area, for example, um, around the states here. And so you'll see there we've got our yellow dots and you can start to see that there are a couple of different sizes of yellow dots um, around the states. We've got a, got a large yellow dot here and a somewhat smaller one on top of it and then a smaller one again. And you'll see a couple of different sizes around the place relating to the population in those individual cities. So again I've just used the zoom, zoom, in, to, uh, zoom in tool as, I, as I'm clicking and dragging out a box like that. Um, to zoom back out I do exactly the same so I click and drag out a box or I can just individually just click on an, a, a spot in the image and it will zoom out by a set amount. Also when I'm using a zoom tool I could alternatively use the scroll bar on my mouse. So I'm just scrolling the mouse bar down at the moment and that's zooming me in and I'll scroll the mouse bar up and that'll zoom me out. I've got extra zooming tools here so to, to zoom in and to zoom out. Um, and this the panning tool here, so the hand if you'd like to move around an area. okay. The other thing that's, that I usually find quite useful is this, this button that looks like a globe and that, that'll zoom me back out to the full extent of the data set. So that I'll go back out all the way and that's useful if you get lost by either zooming in or zooming out a little bit too far.